Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, SOAP web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. Welcome to this next tip on RESTful web services. Use plurals. Let's consider a simple example. So we have a user's resource. To create a user, we are sending post to slash users. To delete a user, we are sending the delete to a specific user. To get all the users, get slash users. And get slash user slash one is to retrieve the details of a specific user. When we use a plural like users, instead of just saying user, this is much more readable. Think about what it would have looked like if it was a slash user. So to get all the details of the user, I would send it to get slash user. Does that look good? I don't really like that. So for me, I like the readability that the plurals provide. I kind of like this fact that slash user slash one is a specific user. While slash user slash one also looks good, but whenever it comes to doing a post to a slash user, that does not sound good. And the same is when I do a retrieve of a multiple user. So when I say a retrieve, slash user it does not really sound as good as it is when i use a plural so i kind of use this convention across all the services that we develop we would use plurals always so we would use terms like users posts accounts comments and things like that as part of our restful service uri in this quick tip we talked about why i like plurals compared to using singular when right when designing your restful uris until the next tip bye bye do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics until i see you in another in 28 minutes video here's bye from the team here at in 28 minutes